what I enjoy about planting season is this is kind of where it all starts now. We get the fertilizer in the ground and get that, uh, that house built in the soil. But now it's like we're, um, where we actually really get to, to get the growing season started. There's just something special about that really busy season when everyone's got the adrenaline and excitement going. Um, it's just, it's a really happy time around here. Welcome back to Kaiser Family Farms. My name is Mark Kaiser. And I'm here with my family today, Megan, Mac, and Nora. We are getting excited here this planting season and getting ready to apply our, our Biopath product to our uh, cornfield just around the corner from here and excited just to get the growing season going. Okay, as you can see, it's a beautiful day out here in Carrollton, Missouri. We are uh, in planting season, um, getting a planter out, getting things set up. We have planted some soybeans, but have not planted corn yet. You know, more than likely next week when the temperatures all warm up a little bit more. Hi guys, I'm McKenna Green. I'm back here on my family's row crop farm, Heritage Family Farms in Arthur, Illinois. We're ready for another episode of Frontier Fields. Since our last episode, we actually started planting. March 25th was our first day of planting soybeans. We've got a couple thousand acres in the ground and got a lot more to go. We're excited here for the next little planting window. Looks like it could be a couple weeks from now. This year for our trial, we're doing 20 acres. As far as applying the Biopath product, that will happen in furrow uh, with our planter. So we'll go put that in, in furrow with our starter and see how it performs. This actually where our home farm sits is some of the more variable ground that we actually farm. So this has a little bit more roll to it than probably most of what you'll see across the rest of our, our farm and acreage. For the most part, uh, we have, you know, what most people would consider flat black um, soil. Now we do get into some more, what we call like Milford type soils that are really tight. Um, they're really poorly drained soils really, really just heavy, mucky ground. And that certainly affects your nutrient uptake. Um, it affects a lot of things. If we get out there and work it or plant it at the wrong timing, a rain gets dry, they'll seal up really quick and make it hard for those root development and the roots to access the nutrients that it needs. If the soils restrict or don't hold on to water, hold on to too much water, that certainly plays a role in how much nutrients the plant can take up. With our um, soil types, having all that extra organic matter and, and the ability for it to hold on to a lot of the nutrients that we have, I really hope that utilizing Biopath can help us to unlock and continue to utilize a lot of the fertilization that we already have there. Here we are in the field. You're gonna check out how good of a planter Mark is. So let's see see if we've got any baby beans coming up yet. And hopefully germinating. Well, here's one of them. It's a little swollen up. Looks like it's getting ready to start popping, but has not yet. We call this the, the Hansel Place. It's the one field that's been planted already this year. It's probably one of our higher magnesium type soils that we have here in our operation. In this field, we have close to 20%. So we do our best to balance the magnesium and the calcium. That helps us to build a better uh, pore space and, and water holding capacity, air holding capacity, and most importantly to, to us is the biological holding capacity. So one of the things that we're excited about with this trial is to see, can we help really stimulate the biologicals where we have a better um, organic matter already, but also can we help stimulate the biological activity in areas that we haven't been very successful at building new organic matter in the past. And so utilizing the soil test data to help us make the best decisions about product placement. It's just very unlikely to ever get any product to work 100% of the time every year because there's just so many different variables that we see and face in farming. This year, this product is going to go on in a more timely, earlier planting. We are hopeful that it'll be a positive yield impact um, for us on the biological front for something like Mosaic Biopath. It either needs to replace something that we're already doing and save us money or keep our yield the same or increase our yield thus making us more money. 
We were at the field that we feel we're going to apply the product for this growing season. We're still trying to decide which side. We have uh, kind of two sides here split by the irrigator. One side is a little higher mag soils that uh, we've discussed previously. And uh, then the, the other side is sandier soil, so a little lower uh, CEC, um, uh, maybe a little lower organic matter in some places. Since we're doing in-field in um, experimentation here, it's really important to try to limit as many variables as possible. And so one of the ways that we kind of control, or at least set what the controls are, is going back to the same locations for our tissue analysis that we've already taken soil tests over the years, but we'll, we'll take them in season as well, um, so that we can really kind of track how the nutrients in the soil are moving and, and almost kind of eliminate those as variables um, as we track the progress of um, this unknown, uh, in this case, of the biological additive. But I always am like, let's see how many things we limited. Uh, make sure you measure before, measure during, and measure after so that we make the right con conclusions because it's so easy in field trials to see correlation without causation. Well, next time we'll do the big reveal on which field we choose. And uh, I think we'll be out here again in the field doing some uh, root digs and seeing what we can see, if we can see any visual differences in the, in the root development between inside and outside the trial. It's been great catching up with you guys. I really hope that you enjoyed watching this episode of Frontier Fields. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment, and give us feedback on future episodes and follow along on Mosaic Advanced Crop Nutrition on YouTube.